we learned uh, a good lesson. Yeah? First, that di diversification is not as important as we thought, as the market expected. <laughs> So, Fernando, in terms of investment and strategy, what are the trends that we're seeing in the private equity sector at present? Well, the private equity investments are still growing. Uh, last year was about 20%, which means uh, 400 billion approximately investments. Um, but at the, same, at the same time, one of the main challenges and problems is the dry power. Uh, and competition, which are driving um, valuation multiples uh, very high. So competition is one of the main problems. So um, private equities are starting to focus on new strategies. One of them is more expertise in terms of sector and region. Uh, also interact more uh, closely to uh, managers uh, and CEOs. Um, so portfolio management is very is becoming very 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 important. Bolton uh, strategy is also uh, becoming very important for buyouts, uh, and uh, well, that's I think that those are the most important. And what are the effects of the financial crisis from two thousand eight to two thousand and nine? Well, I think the most the most important thing is we learned uh, a good lesson. Yeah, first that di diversification is not as important as we thought, as the market expected. Liquidity risk should be a uh, main concern in the future, and that is why there are new regulations, uh, important regulations, uh, in terms of compliance, risk assessment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, uh, in that case, since diversification is not uh, optimal uh, as, as, as we expected, again, private equities are starting to focus on synergies, um, specific uh, sectors, uh, expertise, etc. And Fernando, what is the situation in regards to exits? Well. This situation, both exits and fundraising, is quite uh, well right now. It's increasing. Fundraising is increasing. It's 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 um, driven by uh, the good exits, the good valuations, um, and also the performance. Yeah, the performance is, is also good, and that is driving fundraising. But but the problem, as I said, is dry powder. Uh, which is high right now, and, and that implies competition, very much. Uh, so, very competitive market. And can you briefly explain the macro risks? There are several uh, important internal issues and external issues. Some of the internal issues is the gap uh, of competitiveness between northern countries and southern countries. Southern countries are having uh, problems, uh, ma more problems in terms of financial uh, access to finance. Uh, growth, uh, labor cost, um, etc. Uh, so that that's an important uh, internal problem. Uh, as an external problem, I see that emerging country, emerging countries uh, in the last years have been the main drivers uh, for the European economy and for the growth of, of private equities as well uh, through ex exports. Yeah, Right now, emerging countries are relenting a little due to the Russian situation, the evaluation, China as well, uh, Brazil. So um, emerging countries are, uh, in, will in, some, in some way will, will affect uh, the near future. And Fernando, what is the impact on oil prices? In some respect, that is very positive because it's, um, Europe depends on commodities, so that is pushing uh, consumption, uh, and uh, which means for private equity that B two C businesses are improving. On the other side, um, oil. Um, the prices of oil could affect some uh, energy investment in the very short term. But it's not the case, for example, of renewable energies. With, uh, that's one of my sectors, which has nothing to do, ha have other drivers completely different that, than, than energy. And those are the price of electricity, technology, which is improving all the time, and, uh, and reducing costs, etc. 
And what is the update on performance and the future expectations? Performance is very good um, and it's increasing, mm, partly due to these high valuations and, and exits, good exits. But in the future, we, uh, we should be very careful uh, due to competition, high competition and dry powder. And the way to keep that uh, high performance is uh, more expertise and uh, um, operative management uh, in, as insiders. So you mentioned people should be very careful. So what is the growth scenario for the future? As you know, private equity is, is uh, in the last 20, 25 years had an incredible uh, growth. Uh, let's, think, let's, let's think only into, in 1922, it, uh, the market was about 30 billion. Now it's about 5 trillion. And in the next five years, prediction says that it's going to arrive to eight trillion. Yeah. Of course, part of that, an important part of that, is going to uh, emerging markets. Okay. So that is uh, the trend. Well, Fernando, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you very much to you. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, that's all for myself and Fernando, but for all the latest Jugoscopy updates and exclusive interviews, keep clicking back to Jugoscopy TV. Goodbye for now.